Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 7.2.4.9 Configuring IP Version 6 Addressing. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Introduction to Networks Version 6 Curriculum. Now in this lab assignment we are going to configure IP version 6 addressing. We have done IP version 4 where we go to an interface, do IP add, um, and then our IP address, our subnet mask, type no shut, and it turns on. Uh, we've also configured IP version 4 addressing on the end devices, so like PCs, servers, um, things like that, where we put in our um, IP address, our IP version 4 address, our subnet mask, and then usually a default gateway. We have not done IP version 6. Now, IP version 6 is a standard that is quickly taking on because IP version 4 has only about 4 billion and some change, a little over 4 billion addresses available total around the world just in its entirety. So IP version 6 came out because it has around 340 undecillion, which adds about 16 zeros to the end of 340. It has that many IP addresses. IP version 4 has actually already ran out in the American registry. So we are we're heavily relying on IP version 6 more and more um, as more people get connected uh, to networking and the Internet. So let's learn how to configure that in this lab. The first thing we need to do before it will accept IP version 6 addresses is IPv6 unicast routing. So we're going to go over to our one, we're going to do enable config t IPv6 unicast dash routing. Okay. <clears throat> now what that does is allows our router to accept IPv6 commands. Um, which you'll see are very similar to the IP version 4 commands. You really just add IPv6 in there. Also, you notice that our IP version 4 addresses are 32 bits long, and hopefully you learned that from the chapter, and they are separated by dots. There are four sections uh, of an IP version 4 address. Here we have eight sections separated by colons, and each section has four letters or numbers, 0 through 9 or A through F. These IP version 6 addresses are actually 128 bits long rather than 32 bits long. So it adds a little bit more overhead to our packets. Okay, now we're going to configure the IP addressing on interface uh, gigabit ethernet G00. So I'm going to do interface G00 just like I normally would. But this time I'm going to do IPv6 add instead of IP add. Then I'm going to do, here I'm going to copy and paste this for time's sake. Okay, 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon 1 forward slash 64. Okay, so that puts that subnet mask at the end. Now, this colon colon here in our command, remember, condenses the sections. I know you're like, he just said there was eight sections. Well, if you have more than one section of back or more than two sections of back to back zeros, you can condense it with um, or basically back to back or more sections of all zeros that you can condense in with the double colon. Okay, so you see it took our command there and now we are going to do the IPv6 add. Okay, and then we're going to do FE80 colon colon one link local. This is like our loop back. Okay, and then we'll do a no shut. Okay. No shut activates the interface. Okay. Now let's do the exact same thing on interface G01. IPv6 add. And up here at the top, we've got this address here that I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to do the same link local here. And then no shut. Okay. Now we're going to do the serial interface. Okay. So interface S000 IPv6 add. I'm going to gr grab that one. Okay. Set our link local. And no shut.
Okay. All right, so we've got all of that set on R1. Now, let us look at our diagram. We've got some green lights, but that doesn't mean we have connectivity because we've got to configure some end devices, some clients, and some servers. So we're going to click on the accounting server, go to desktop, IP, configuration, and you notice the top section is the one we've been using all the time, set in IP version 4. We need to go to this bottom section, IPv6. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to set our... IPv6 address here, 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon 4, and the prefix right here is 64. Okay, we'll also set our link or sorry, our um, gateway. Okay, so this refers to the gateway as this address here. So we kind of use this as the gateway, same as we did for the other interfaces. All right, and then we're going to exit out. Now we're going to repeat the same thing for the CAD server. Okay, so we'll go up here to our table. That's why these tables are nice. I know it's like, you know, why create these in real life? Well, this is why. Easy reference point. Do 64 here, and then again, oops. Did not mean to include that slash 64 there, and then 64 here, okay? And then we're going to grab that same default gateway there and exit out, okay? Now we're going to configure it on the client. So we've got the sales and billing here. So sales, okay? We've got this address here, 64 prefix, same IPv6 gateway, okay? Now we're also, um, I'm sorry, that should have been the billing. Ah, all right, let's go here. <clears throat> Configure the wrong one. So there, 64. Sorry, we got to clear this one out. Let's do the sales one first. I know that's kind of out of order, but we can't have duplicate addresses. Um, so let's do the sales one first here. Okay, 64 is the same. So we just wanted to end in colon colon two. That's what you need to look for. The billing is going to end in colon colon three. Okay, then we're going to put that 64 there and the same IPv6 gateway. Okay. Now we're going to click on the engineering, which is over here, and we're going to do. Same thing, 64 prefix, same default gateway, okay, then we're going to repeat the same thing for the design computer, go ahead and set that while I got it in my cache there, then I'm going to get the design computer's address and prefix. All right, so now we've got everything configured. You can try testing the network. Okay, we can see we can ping across our different computers here and back and forth. All right, everything's successful. So we've got 100 out of 100 on this lab. So you kind of see there's a slight difference in our commands, but only really a little bit. They, they really act uh, very alike, very similarly. Um, we just put IPv6 add.